Hello you all, welcome to the channel. It's uh, Rad from Radko Tarot and in this whole video we are going to check uh, the weekly general tarot reading for your star sign for the week 11th to 17th of uh, January 2021. And in case you are interested in a personal reading with me, you can check out the description down below and there you're going to find a, uh, a link to my website from which very front page you can see the full list of my services and as well their pricing. Also keep in mind that the content for YouTube and Facebook, they are uh, separate, they are exclusive to one another. While in YouTube you can find um, your weekly general tarot readings. In Facebook you are going to find astrology posts performed by the Pisces Moonbeam, which is an exceptional astrologer that works with me. And as well you can catch me live and have your daily tarot readings. So with that being said, enjoy the show. All right, so we do have Pisces, Sun, Moon, and as well rising on our hands. And just give me a couple of seconds, guys, to shuffle the cards, and we're going to jump uh, right into it. Alright, so the first card for you is going to be Justice, followed by uh, the uh, Princess of Cups, or that is the Page of Cups in uh, the uh, Reader Waite version, followed by the Five of Wands. Moving next, what we do have here is the Princess of uh, Princess of Wands, or that is the Page of Wands, and the last one that we do have for you guys that is going to be the Five of Cups. Oh, uh, that is a quite of a, quite a bit a difficult one. Right. So uh, at the start of the week here for you, Pisces, uh, with the justice, uh, you are going to have a pretty accurate perception what are the things that you need to do and, and how to do them as well. Now, just this gives you the, uh, the astute discernment what is the most immediate concern and what it isn't and what can be left to wait. So at the start of the week, you can expect from yourself and from your environment as well that you are going to build up your uh, responsibilities in those couple of days, Monday and Tuesday, in a way that they are going to be very, very bearable. So it's highly unlikely at that time that you're going to feel very overwhelmed and it is like you are working against the clock here, either career-wise or either relationship-wise. So first couple of days, it is where the whole environment, either into your career or either into your relationship life, is going to be very balanced. Now, just as from another hand, it's pretty deprived from emotions, okay? Because people were concerned mainly with their love life. I have to touch on that here. Just as it is deprived of emotions and at these two days, if you do have someone to interact with, all right, you do have a suitor, person of interest, or in general, you are in a relationship right now, uh, you should not try to, uh, how can I say, emotionally, um, act upon things, but instead you should try to remain very balanced about it, very reasonable about, about, about it, okay? Uh, but in the same time, you need to demand the other side also to fulfill their, uh, their responsibilities toward the relationship uh, itself. But in generally those couple of days, you are going to be in, on fire in terms of career, as uh, you are going to be able to very accurately place every single task and divide and um, not divide but uh, devote. I'm sorry. So devote just as much time as needed, just as much efforts needed, and you are also going to be able to scope a the best moment for action and the best actions as well. You will be able to pick up the best actions at that particular point. So in generally, you can expect in the first couple of days to be very productive and very, um, how can I say, at your place, if that's an expression, at your place, either in terms of career or either in terms of a relationship as well. And then a person steps up into your environment, which is the uh, page of uh, 
of cups here. So this individual may be somebody that you do know or somebody brand new, but they happen to be very emotionally entitled to you, very emotionally attached to you. It could be your child, if you do have such sister, brother, or it could be somebody that is in love with you as well. So what that person here really poses for you, what, what they are making you realize, it is, um, how can I say, uh, well, with when you do side with them, right, when you do start interact with them, you're going to realize that the small predicaments, you know, the, the details, the annoying details of your situation, say your marriage, say your current relationship, they are pretty negligible in a sense of what the true prospect of, of these agendas, uh, agendas is, right? So instead of constantly fighting with, say, your wife, uh, because she's watching some kind of a TV show that don't like that, that you don't like is nothing in, in comparison how happy you are when uh, when things are going great so you're gonna focus more upon things that are going great and what you can do by yourself in order to make the things going great for the most part for the most of the time so here with the page of cups that person is going to make you re, uh, reassess your standpoints, your positions, uh, and in generally how you um, how you see on the situation. Instead of being stuck with the annoying and aggravating details, being more attentive to the overview of uh, of your work, of your relationship as well. And um, if that's a romantic interest, because as I said, this person is emotionally attached to you, uh, they are going to make you realize how far you can go together. Now, will you decide to go by with a page of cups or not? Because that may be somebody that is attached to you emotionally, but you may not be attached to them emotionally. Then you are to see the overview that is not gonna work out. So you have to change your positions in terms of not allowing them to see you as a uh, as someone of as a person of interest from now on even if that means that you have to cut a friendship because believe me guys there isn't a bigger torment than allowing somebody that is in love with you to be a friend of yours that that is just such a uh, such a torment such a torture that you can't even imagine i i, I think that every single one of us has a certain situation that they went through or that they are in right now. So it's better to repose them and to make them suffer from it, through it and just heal from it as well than keeping them close to you uh, and just giving them hope because no matter what you do, every time you address them with something, every time you um, pay attention to them, that is, they see it as a sign that you are actually changing your heart and you are more entitled to be with them while that may not be true. So if that's somebody that it is emotionally attached to and you don't want to have anything to do with them in terms of romance, it will be best to just banish them away. And uh, right after that, things are speeding up for you. We do have the Five of Wands. So Five of Wands is a quite huge dynamic and that is going to pretty much... Um, how big that dynamic is going to be will, de will be defined on how well you did with the energy of the justice, how well you structured your priorities, how well you have discerned the situation and the senses of emergency in there. Because if you have slacked at the start of the week and you have not made a, a good plan, here at the middle of the week, things are going to be very, very chaotic for you. And you may find yourself quite lost into the situation. But overall here, you can expect towards the middle of the week quite a lot of surprises to pop up, either, either in terms of career or either in terms of relationship. And um, those surprises is going to pose up uh, circumstances that are going to catch you a little bit off guard in terms of that you are not going to be prepared for them and thus your a fast thinking is going to be uh, tested let's say that way in that particular time frame towards the middle of the week let's say Wednesday Thursday um, how well you can fit those surprises into your routine it will depend entirely on you but with those surprising circumstances you can definitely end up on top of 
any single situation because what I like to say about the Five of Wands it is that this is one of the best cards where you can transform failure into success. So if at the start of the week, for example, you do have something that isn't going on very well and uh, it's almost, you're almost losing it, you know, you're almost losing the client you want, uh, you're almost failing into that project or you're almost losing the friend that you are so much holding on to, towards the middle of the week, you're gonna have the chance to rectify the situation, to pretty much win them back, to pretty much transform that failure into success through exactly those surprising events that are gonna catch not just only you, but everybody off guard. At that point, guys, uh, the right, not the right approach, but the, um, how can I say, um, the push forward or the approach forward is going to be anybody's guess. And uh, it will be very important that you do listen to what anybody else says around. You don't have to uh, take on their advice, but from every idea and from every point of view, you can extract a very valuable situation and um, information, I'm sorry, and at the end, um, you can construct a very, very good idea of yours and a very, very good plan that actually is going to make you, uh, like I said, on top of the situation or it will pretty much help you to uh, win your ex back or um, uh, being successful into the project that you are failing or in generally sustain the client that it wants to walk away. And right after that, we do have the page of wants and that is another person coming in. And this person is going to be quite impressed by the way that you have dealt with the, uh, the dynamic of the previous couple of days. And uh, they are going to offer you something. Now, this is a, a harbinger of either a, uh, a good news, all right? or something new that you need to be open for. Now, this good news or a something new that you need to be open for is, a, is going to be only for you to consume. So you cannot expect any help from anybody else. You cannot expect as well that somebody is going to lend you certain resources for you to use in order to capitalize on this something new opportunity or rather like a new opportunity for you or a good news that gives you a green, green light about, uh, about the thing you want to accomplish. Here, uh, the whole point of uh, the appearance of the Page of Wands is going to be to remind you, and not just only to remind you, but as well to make you realize how strong you are on your own accord, all right? Uh, <clears throat> they are uh, very, how can I say, um, uh, they are they, they from from outside the page of want looks uh, the page of wants does look very um, strong not strong but disconcerned is the uh, word that I was searching for it's like whatever happens nothing is able to break down their mood or uh, nothing is able to bring them down in generally in spirit and nothing is able to hurt them but in reality from within their nature is very very fragile and they are very touchy on a uh, on a criticism they are very touchy as well on a blunt truth and they does not handle very well when somebody tells them what they want, what they need to do. So if, if it happens for you to make a cooperation here with the Page of Wands, while you do realize how strong you are on your own accord, it will be best if you do have certain, you know, suggestions to keep them for yourself. Just, just saying here, because they are not going to take that very well. And right after that, towards the end of the week, that is going to be uh, here addressed with the Five of Cups. So just as with Aquarius here, at the end of the week, um, you are to see the things not always go your way. Okay, so at the end of the week, you have to be prepared to face certain disappointments and certain partial losses as well. But like I said, the losses are going to be partial. The disappointments are going to be temporary, not permanent ones. So you definitely can, again, rectify the situation, either career-wise or either relationship-wise. But here, whatever the page offered to you, either through a... Um, something new or either through a good news that came your way 
and you see that things are not as um, as things are not as easy as you thought they are going to be that should not going to be a predisposition or a premise for you guys to abandon the uh, the opportunity that the page offered you the page of wands offered you instead that should be a reason for you to become even more tenacious in regards to in regards to it and even more mobilized in regards to it because the five of cups is the card saying that whatever happens you should not abandon the path that you have beforehand chose to take which is the path that page of wands offered to you and it was a offering based on your previous very well performance very well made performance to uh, transform failure into success or to win back the client that you are about to lose you know and i already said all these things so that being said pisces this was your uh, weekly general tarot reading guys for uh, the upcoming week hopefully you do enjoy it and you do like it and we are to see each other next time until then Bye.